Marine Lord already in his next game. Let's see how this goes, brothers. <laughs> mm. I'm excited for this one. Mm. This is Mongols versus Abbasid. Guys, what are we feeling? Can I get any feels in the chat, please? Can anyone tell me about how they feel? What are we expecting to see out of this? Yikes. Guys, let's go back to... Um, Let's go back to the whatchamacallits. Give me one second. We had our chat GPT um, before the love story, for those of you who joined a little bit later. Chat GPT predicted that... Oh, no, that was the love story between the two of them. So Marine Lord decided to launch an early attack. Uh, that was on point. Marine Lord did attack him in feudal, sending his army of knights towards B's base. <laughs> He didn't have knights, he did have Juganu, and he did have horsemen. I don't know, close enough. But B was ready, and had already built up a wall. He didn't have any balls. Okay, so this one was a little bit wrong. The battle was intense, that is true. With both players using their units and ability to gain it. I mean, you have to use your units to gain an edge because you didn't get any upgrades, Marine Lord. Even with a lot of resources for those. So there was no ability in that one, unfortunately. Um, Marino began to pull ahead. He did. He did. He was pulling ahead. It was looking really, really good. And he began expanding his territory. He was expanding outwards. On point, B refused to give up. He failed a few attacks. He lost a lot of scouts. But, sorry about that. I can notice the Facebook notifications as well. Let me just exit that. <laughs> um, the game was neck and neck. True. They were both making strategic decisions. Yes, because this is a strategy game. And in the end, it all came down to one final battle. Mmm. Marine Lord had a huge... I wouldn't call it a huge army. With Marine Lord, nothing is really huge. <laughs> um, B's forces were depleted in a previous attack, but B lured him out of the base. Using his knowledge of the terrain, he lured him out of the base, where they were ambushed by hidden, let's scratch this and say, units, not archers. They were archers, but they were more javelin throwers. They were more stick thrower boys. So, actually, we still have a minute and a half left. So, let's go back to chat GPT. B emerged victorious. Marine Lord was stunned, having been so close to winning. But B had shown that strategy and tactics could overcome even the most powerful army. So, they both knew that they had just participated in an epic battle that would go down in Age of Empires history. I don't feel like that one was an Age of Empires history kind of game. But it was definitely a game, right? Right? Okay. Let me just find my tea. I have too many cups. I have five cups on my desk. And three of them are on my fancy new gaming laptop. B was 60 to 70% right. And honestly, guys, that is more accurate than most of us. <laughs> so, good job, chat GPT. And with that, while we're waiting, let me give you guys a sneak peek on what's really going on in our house. That is... Gigi dog. Oh, that is a very inappropriate position. Daughter. Let me just cover. That's Gigi dog. She is feeling free and she's feeling good. <laughs> Potter. She's not caring. Potter. Oh, she's just, she's just stunned. Never mind. The dog is done. The dog is tired. She's had a long day. A long day of napping. <laughs> so if you guys see, that's an open dog leg at the back. Very nice. I know. Very professional. This is Top tier professional stream. We are just here to give you the best of the best quality. Let's go in, boys. We're going into game three. The decider match. Who will come out victorious? We see Marine Lord in red. And last time we did say red was dead. So we are unfortunately on the pit. And I say unfortunately because this map gives me way too much stress. Basically, the reason I hate this map is... If you send your scout this way, and he sends his scout this way, both of you are equally fucked, based on how good or how lucky you were in your scouting pattern and picking up sheep. Luckily for these boys, they sent them both to different sides. However, Marine Lord has gotten a few more sheep. He just chose the side with less sheep. And that's unfortunately how the pit works. Let's see how many Marine Lord's gonna pick up. Is he gonna... Yes, he's gonna get that one. And there's one up here, but not many people go all the way. Ooh, Marine Lord, you know, boy, you know. As you guys can see, 
um, bee didn't go all the way because it's not very common for there to be sheep all the way to the top. So Marine Lord going all the way here, he's quite lucky. B also just knows. Let's see if he's going to take a lot of damage. Is, is, is Marine Lord going to react? Ah, that would have... That would have been so cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would have been a game of history, right? Right? Okay, anyway, let's see. Marine Lord is still rinsing these poor little sheep. B has gotten his loot. He's going home with six. Marine Lord is going home with seven. Not that big of a difference, except this Khan's ego. This Khan's ego is probably dented a little bit, just like his head, but he's going in for the second round. Now, Marine Lord, are you... Ooh, he's getting the rest. Yes, bring that extra sheep. Do you still have it at home? It feels like these are going to run out any time. You probably need to go deliver, good sir. You can't just run forever. So the thing is, you probably need to deliver your sheep before the full route is done. Let me just try click on that. Okay, that thing does still have a little bit of food. Yeah, you should be able to make it. Let's see, let's see. You might have like a few seconds idle time. Let's see. Yeah. Some of these boys are... Oh, there's one more sheep that is being depleted right now. But let's see what's going on here. Uwu is up. The barracks is in range of the Uwu, and he has two spearmen out. So B is looking to do aggression very early on, which is quite understandable. B is an aggressive player. He does like to do early, good aggression. The Khan has regenerated. He feels a little bit better after taking that ego beating a little bit earlier. Scout is smacking his ass just a little bit, just to put him in his place and say, Hey, do you remember that damage from my TC? There's more coming, brother. But B is bringing the villager and we know that only means fun things <laughs> this means a tower rush on the gold we love a good tower rush on the gold we are seeing an age up from marine lord right now and we aren't seeing one from b and b doesn't look like he's going for an age up anytime soon so right now marine lord is gonna have the age advantage but b has denied the gold I just don't know if it's a little bit too late because right now Marine Lord's going to age up. He's going to make an archery range and he's most likely just going to go deal with these. So he hasn't really truly lost anything. Because you have a pretty safe wood line here, you can still get units to deal with this. But getting that tower down, that is the problem. Because towers don't take a lot of damage, you know, from archers. So it's going to take a little bit more to take that down. So he's most likely going to have to go for another gold but on this map there's not a lot of gold that you can just go for and his gold is on this side as well both of them so that tower is not just denying this gold it's also denying the next ones as well so this is going to be quite tough for marine lord but we can see that the barracks is coming out okay so he's going to be responding with a barracks you'll get a barracks are you getting an archery rain uh, he's not he's not he's oh because the trade wing isn't finished yet and we do see that B is now going for the age up as well. I don't know. Honestly, I think this is pretty good for B. He is getting quite a lot of damage done. He's getting that mining pit as well, which is good damage because Marine Lord's going to have to rebuild that. And he's not really caring too much about these guys here. Those spearmen going to get a little bit of damage done. I doubt... Ooh, I was going to say they won't, probably won't get a villager, but honestly... He's getting a few spearmen, but... Oh, and the traders are redirected as well. Is he going to get one? Ooh, Marine Lord going for a trade is risky. I mean, he's going for a spearman as well, but let's see. Are they going to fight back? Are you going to fight back with those villagers? Not today. Let's see. Archery range coming out. He's going to get an archer just so that he can continue living his best life. We do see the silver tree coming out. This is the trade of... Trade landmark, yes. This is the trade landmark from Mongols as well. So we are probably going to see B trading too, because that's what Mongols does. But on this side, these spearmen are definitely doing what they wanted to do. They, they're they doing some damage. The archer is going to give them back, and he should be able to keep them away now. He's most likely going to go for at least two archers, so that he can keep these guys at bay. On the other side, the gold is still denied. There is no second gold that Marine Lord can go for unless he goes for the forward one, which is not something people usually do. Now, 
he can see that the trade wing is or the trade is the silver tree is coming up but right now can't do much about it he's just gonna get a few units and he's gonna try do some trading just to get some gold income because this right now this is his gold income let's go and see how much gold these boys are gonna pick up this is not a very long trade route as you guys can see so let's see oh, oh, 34 gold not too hot but it's something you know it's it's something <laughs> for now that'll suffice and he's also getting arrow slits on this tower that is very scary for marine lord because now he's gonna need a lot more to take that down and he might even lose a few units right now marine lord is just trying to secure the site so that he can quickly get a little bit of gold income get that trade going but I'm expecting him to... He needs to make a play to get gold. Because right now, he's just... That's the play. So, he's getting a battering ram. Because the battering ram is the only thing that's going to contest this outpost. He's just going to lose too many units if he tries to go for it directly. B is still putting on pressure on the straight side. Because he knows he, knows he needs to put pressure down. Because Marine Lord is going to slowly start getting some gold. So... Let's see what's going on here. Good sir, you are denying that. Very nice. The scout is blocking this from being set up. So on this side, you... I mean, this is really, really good from Marine Lord. He's just delaying that trade. So, as we can see... Ooh, is he going to lose the scout? Yes, he is. Okay, that is not so good from Marine Lord. <laughs> so B is going for the full length trade. He is going to make it here and all the way put his marker on this side and start the trading. Now, because this tower has arrow slits, it's most likely at least going to get one victim. Unless Marine Lord is a really fast boy, but he is not. Not right now. And this villager is going to go for, I'm assuming, this gold up here. Yeah. So, he is still harassing him consistently. And Marine Lord is idling some of his units over here. I think he's just too busy plotting out his next move. As we know, Marine Lord and his big, big brain. <laughs> Okay, so we are seeing an upgrade, but honestly, I don't know this upgrade. Let me see. What? <gasps> what is that upgrade? Grand Bazaar! I have no idea what the Grand Bazaar does, I'll be honest. I have no idea if I can check what it does either. <laughs> Twitch chat, educa educate us, please. <laughs> okay, I am not an Abbasid enjoyer, I must say. I don't know too much about them. So, unfortunately, I cannot give you guys the insights on that one. Okay. So more gold with traders. Okay, so it just makes the trade a little bit stronger. Now, finally, we do see the market coming out for Marine Lord as well. So Marine Lord is looking to trade all the way to here, which is pretty amazing. So now we are seeing, ooh, that's 153 gold with one trader. That is juicy. Yes. Deliver. Come on, deliver. <laughs> Let's see what these guys are going to come bring. Good sirs. What do you have in store for us? 153. Hot damn. That is a good amount of gold. Okay, guys. So the trade has begun. So. Nothing special happening right now. B is putting a few units here. He does want to disrupt the trade. We aren't seeing the same from Marine Lord. Because I believe Marine Lord is just on the defense. He just wants to make sure that his... Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just wants to make sure that his trade is secured. And if he takes out a few units along the way, because B is so aggressive, that's not the end of the world. It is very risky for Marine Lord to move out completely, because B's, B is a very aggressive player. So B could just slip past this army, if he doesn't have the right scouting, and harass his trade. Because right now, that's not what you want to be doing. So Marine Lord is sending his defenses all the way to the top, just to make sure, or all the way here most likely, just to make sure that his trade is not going to be disrupted. And he's going to get that first loot. So let's see how many traders we are seeing on this side. Good sir. Let me see. Does it say here? There's another one coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six traders. Hot damn. Versus the three. Are we getting more? No. We only have three traders. Maybe there's more coming out. Sirs. Do you guys see that? I've never had a spawn like this. What about this side? There's a tiny wall here where they can walk up and down. That is amazing. So usually on this map you don't have this. This is the first time I'm seeing that. You, your traders usually have to walk all the way around here and then go back here. So let's see what's happening. Marine Lord is running around with a horseman just trying to get some pressure. Trying to see what's going on I assume. 
But on this side, the Khan is just going to see hey, how much trading is going on. But right now, B has a lot more trade. Let's see how much you're carrying. 168. Ooh, that's a good amount. 15, 15 as well. That looks pretty juicy. Okay, let's see. More traders are coming out all the way there. And this is going to look very nice very soon unless B can pick these up. Now, Marine Lord moved his units, so he won't be able to Ooh, he won't be able to defend against those horsemen. He is going to lose a trader, and that trader it is carrying a lot, unfortunately, for Marine Lord. That is a big, big loss. That is not just a trader, that is also a buttload of resources. Right now. Well, let's see what he's doing over here. He's picking up a scout at least. Marine Lord does have the consolation prize. That is nice, at least, right? Right? But on the bottom side, let's make sure that this horseman is going to get a little bit of damage done. Just getting that Khan out of the way. These guys are getting what they need to get. Yes, get that 153 and let's hope we don't lose you. So Marine Lord is again pulling away all his units. Let's see. Finally! Delivery! Delivery! I said delivery. Bah! That was good. That's a good amount. Now, he still hasn't gone back on gold, which I'm very surprised about. I assumed that Abbasid would need to go gold, but I guess Marine Lord is just not looking to age up anytime soon. He's just trying to protect his trade, see that everything's going. But B is also having a lot more army. So, <sighs> Marine Lord is running the other way. He is going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you going to go directly for his trade? Yes, B is going to go for that trade and he is going to, he's looking to do some good damage. Right now, oof, that's going to be painful, that's going to be painful. Marine Lord, where are your horses? Bring them closer, bring them closer. He did get the Khan, he did get the Khan. A little bit of a miss micro from B. Let's see if he can get a few more units. We don't have upgrades from either of them. There are upgrades coming out for ranged armor. The scout is going in, just dying, just dying like that. Spearmen are going to take out the horses. The horses are running straight into the spearmen for some reason. Archers are not focusing on the spearmen, which you should be, because you need to make sure they don't take your horses down. Okay, now the spearmen are down, most of them. And the horses can start to look to clean up, but there is reinforcement coming. This is... Not looking good for Marine Lord. Oof. The spearmen have defended on this side, which is good for him. But again, B is just has the upper hand right now. Both of them got their upgrades for range defense. So these horses are going to take a lot less damage. As you can see, those archers are barely making a dent in those horses. And they are going to do a lot more to those archers than the other way around. Archers, you need to shoot. Both of them have that upgrade. But is this going to be enough? Those villagers, they have a big disparity there as well. We are seeing the horsemen actually doing some damage. There are no more spearmen to defend against them. But this might be... I don't know. This might just be too strong for Marine Lord to come out ahead. Marine Lord. Oh, don't lose your horse. So, okay, for those of you who don't know, if you rally your units with Siege, because Siege is very slow, your units walk at the speed of Siege. So, now we are seeing a few more horse boys here. We are getting the arrow upgrade from this side, while on B side, we are getting... Hmm. We're getting melee armor. Interesting. I guess for the horses. He didn't have a lot of horses, so I didn't expect to see it that soon, but hey. The... Upgrade is just through for Marine Lord as well, so his archers are going to start doing damage again. So let's see if he actually survives this. Those horses are doing good jam damage. Let's see, the archers are focusing down the horsemen, because they kind of have to. Those are clapping real hard. And this little siege, he's selecting all army. So I can see Marine Lord it definitely uses the same command as I do, select all army, which is not the best one to use, by the way. And he's out of horsemen. Right now, B is taking such a huge economic lead. Marine Lord is in shambles, I think. Oh, this is looking a little bit dire. Is there a way for him to be able to beat this? If B overcommits and goes a little bit too deep, takes a little bit of siege, or takes a little bit of damage from the TC, maybe Marine Lord can pull out ahead. But he is reinforcing consistently. We see units just pumping in from behind i don't think marine lord can secure this after that trade is completely shut down b is still trading at the back b makes sure that he has the eco marine lord has a lot of idle time and b is just going to keep bringing units he takes out another trader 
Just like that. Marine Lord is looking to do more damage, and the game is over, as we can see. We'll speed it up a little bit. Let's get to the end, and we can see Marine Lord pushing back, but we know his eco was idle for a while, so this is just going to be temporary. Marine Lord looks like he will be going down. Mm. Those traders running right into death one by one, and B is just slaughtering them as they come out. 2-1 for B. GG, Marine Lord. Guys, that means we will be going into the beastie game. B has taken down the champion. Wow. I must say, I didn't expect that. <laughs> wow. Um, what a day to be alive, right? That was definitely unexpected. I mean... B just shut his trade down a lot more effectively. B is very aggressive. I don't know how Abbasid is against Mongols, because Abbasid is a much more passive Civ compared to Mongols, but I felt like B, um, he, he got slapped, or oh, he slapped real good. The first game, Marine Lord really looked like, uh, make, made it look like this was going to be a 2-0, but honestly, B showed up. Hot damn.